Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an awesome couples travel trailer that isn't too big and isn't too small. This might be the perfect size for you. This is a 2022 Cruiser Twilight model 2400. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the Twilight and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Again, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's and Wells RV Reviews Tovals. It's the World's Only Channel giving you that true and unbiased review about everything when it comes to RVs. And again, today I am super excited to be taking a look at the Twilight from Cruise RV. It's a new product. Uh, I really do like it. You guys seen it before the other day, and this one is a couples unit that I think is that right combination of size, quality, and price. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will, hey guys. how's it going? It's going good. We're still here in uh, Raleigh, North Carolina area. Yes, um, big shout yes. out to RV1 of Raleigh. Yeah. 919-934-4710. Yeah, huge thanks for um, to them for allowing us to come here and record today. And I'm excited to take a look at this Twilight. I've never seen the inside of one. I know you did a review a couple weeks ago when I was still sick. Yep. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to see it for the first time. And I'm excited not to be doing the review alone. Will, <laughs> let's begin. All right. Model is 2400 Twilight. The actual tentative length of this travel trailer is 29 feet long. The dry weight is 5,604 pounds. And I don't know the hitch weight, but we'll have all the specs right there. Cool. The Sounds good. Seat. Does have a nice power tongue jack here. The propane tanks go here and your batteries go here. Now this is the Twilight signature. This is going to be competition to your Cougars, to your Rockwoods, to your higher end travel trailers. Cool. It's really, really nice. Okay. I like the LED light strip there, painted fiberglass front cap, and everything. Right here, we do have your diamond plate rock guard. Coming on down the side here, we do have very nice slam latch storage doors. Good storage space, too. Great size. The light on the inside and everything. Yeah. And underneath, we do have the electric stabilizing jacks. Cool. Love that. Right here, you do have a door to the bedroom with the crappy steps. We don't like right. them, but at least you do got the solid steps for the main entranceway. And we do have a very nice power awning with LED lights and will. Yeah. Look at that. Oh, a little peephole. Little peephole. So That's peep smart. Your, you can peep on your neighbor and see who's at your door. <laughs> what's funny is, what's funny it's is. It's too high. Yeah. Like, because nobody's going to. Nobody's standing there. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Right, like you're gonna knock at that step. Yeah, and yeah. then get down. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> That's kind of funny. And then because because of the twilight, they do have the extended season camping package, and they use Asdale oh, for their Oh, very nice. Yes, Asdale is a green base material, and it will never delaminate on you. And then look at these tires, Will. They're the Goodyear endurance tires. I love those. They're the ST205-75 R14 with your Dexter axles there. Very nice. Right here, you do got your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then here, we do have our Morai step above steps. Very nice. Yes, sir. Nice big grab handle and everything. Coming around the back, we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. Okay, look, this is where your 30 amp hookup is. Okay. Your black tank flush, your city water connection, cable and satellite. It is prepped for a Furion backup camera and we do got a ladder to get up on the roof. Will, let's go up there and take a look. All right, be careful. Here it's a little out. windy today. Here we go. Up here on the roof, you can see it's a nice one piece TPO roof. We do have one air conditioning 30 amp. Right there's your wine guard digital antenna and you can see that it does have cutouts for Max Air fans. Coming on down. Here we go now. Last step. Oh, great. And if you haven't already, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. What other RV YouTubers gonna take his fat ass up on the roof? Show you what features the roof has to offer. Nobody. Nobody. Finishing up with the driver's side. You got your water heater right there. You know, I really like the decals and the patterns that they used yeah, on the Twilight. Nice. I wish they would have continued that over the water heater. Oh, you're right. 
right there. That's where they dumped the black and gray tank. Cool. Okay. Good spot. Yes, sir. Oh, that must just be the gray tank. Oh, Here's okay. your black and gray tank. Also equally a good spot. Yeah. And then here's that other side of that storage. Well, well, the outside of the Twilight looks great, but the inside looks even better. Let's go take a look. Okay. Well. Yeah. I'm tired. How are you? Oh, wow. Okay, so we'll start back here, I guess. Or are we gonna start here? Yes. Okay, so we'll come up front. So up front, you got the nice uh, master bedroom. And coming along down the side, you got the bathroom here. And then back towards the back, you have the uh, living area, dining area, and kitchen all the way in the back. Well, let's get started um, in the middle. In the middle? Okay. Yeah. So right here in the living room area, we do have a very nice comfortable sofa right here okay now again guys this is a smaller travel yeah, sofa, it is. so they're really making it work you got your sofa here this is the trifold sofa that does very come all nice. the way out what does think is it does block your walking way yeah but that's why you do have two doors mm -hmm. you know yep. what i'm saying you got your window right here with your balance with mcd privacy nice. blinds no daytime blinds i don't blame them it's a travel trailer but at least they do the mcd not those crappy accordion stuff. Right. And then check this out. We do got nice storage there and there. Uh, and it's held up by straw, which is very nice. Yep. And it's like a transparent door. Right, but um, not too transparent. Right. And, uh, yeah, not transparent at all, really. But yeah. it's like a glass door. <laughs> and then right across, Will, is your dinette. Now, what's very nice is that you have a direct shot at the tv yeah that's true and then it is on a televator right here i love this so when you I want the too. window you got the right. window when you don't want the window you just push this button and the tv goes up and then we do got storage right there if you want to show everybody okay you got three one two and three right there yes sir and then this dinette does drop down to make a bed. It is called the Dream Dinette. Cool. And there is storage. Underneath. Yes, sir. Ow. You okay? Yeah, that got me good right there. Did you it? see that? Well, own me a Twilight one day, folks. <laughs> and what's their storage on the other there side? Is, yeah. Perfect. Same thing. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. MSRP on this unit here is. $44,004. Okay. MSRP. Sale price, Will. I don't know. They'll get you phenomenal sale price. Yeah. It's a 2022, so you guys know the rules. We can't advertise sale price, but here's what we do have. We do have a link to RV1's website down below, and if you're interested in this unit, give RV1 a call. If you're interested in the Raleigh, North Carolina store, it is phone number 919-934. 4710 give them a call let them know you saw the twilight on matt's rv reviews and well what are they going to do they're going to take great care of you and get you a phenomenal sale price what type of style north carolina style yes sir so let's continue thing. is that the fridge yeah it is the fridge okay all right we'll start over here so this is um like matt said earlier it's a small travel trailer but they still got you a huge pantry wow crazy oh did you get it all oh i did okay Coming over here, you do have your control panel and then a little bit of storage there. Okay. Nice Furion microwave right there. Love Furion. Furion range hood there. Hood range. And then a little bit of a backsplash here and a three burner Furion cooktop with blue lights. I love and that. And an oven. Yes. <clears throat> Coming over here, you got some storage up top oh, there. Okay, okay. You got a nice window here. Oh, solid surface countertops. Very yeah. nice. Mm, I love that. Got a nice spray faucet here. Uh, cu cutting board insert that's stuck. Wow. And a single bull sink right there. Nice big one. Love the size of that sink and everything. Yeah. Here you got a couple drawers set up for your silverware and everything. And you guys can really see the quality in this travel trailer you can. compared yeah. to its competitors. Oops. It's really nice. Do you get a splinter? Yeah. Eh. Let me see. I already got that out. Oh, okay. 
And then you got some uh, more storage right there. I didn't mean to laugh at you, Will. <laughs> and then you got a uh, nice Norcold. This is a uh, compressor fridge. Yes, sir. This is one that always confuses me. Yeah. But yeah, it's well, a compressor fridge because it doesn't have the metal, right? It, then it's this part that confuses right. me. Right. It's like, is that the tell me the propane levels? Right. No. It's a compressor fridge. Okay, yes, sir. Cool. And then this just tells you a little bit about the Twilight, what's what they got going on there. Cool. Porcelain toilet. Uh -oh. Hey, elite comfort. There they uh go. they must have been watching Matt's RV reviews. Right. That's what it's all about. Oops. And then Will, it's now time for the shower test. Okay, let's take a look. Now for those of you who don't know, Will is six foot three. And uh oh. This, this is not a radius shower. Oh so snap! Good. I love that. That's a 30 by 36 shower. Yeah, so width and depth is good. Um, the height is good here, so I'm gonna pass it. Bing! That's a shower test seal of approval. It is. Obviously and here you'd have a little bit of trouble. Correct. But, you know, I know I have to stay in the... And well, I, I, I'm I gonna say something. Uh-huh. Um, we could have failed this. Yeah. But the fact that it's the 30 by 36, right, that's that the... Yep, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right here we do got a good place for like your towels and everything. Yep. I can't breathe right now. Why? Well, <laughs> no. too hot? Yeah. No, <laughs> I just look like a sweaty oh, mess. Oh, yeah. Right there, we got the medicine cabinet. Nice little sink. Storage underneath. A couple drawers. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You may stay here. Oh, uh, yeah, a little towel area right there. Okay. No, you can come on through. Okay. Oh, snap. Oh, I'll tell you about that later. Okay. I love this little window here. Well, I need an energy drink after this. Do you? I need to get amped up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, didn't lie, porcelain. Well. This is a prime pooping position. Bing! That's amazing for this small of a trailer. It really, really is. They are killing it. Yeah. In a good way. Okay, you know, go this is going to compete with your uh, Grand Design Imagines, yes. like the 2520s, the Open Ranges 2410s. Oh my this gosh, is, doing... is this a king bed? Will, I didn't want to tell you till the end. Wow. Hop on in there, Will. Okay. This is a king size bed. That is they do that in all the twilights. Oh, do they? Yeah. And nice. it's a Serta. Right. It's very comfortable. You got little lights up there. Yep, here. And then, oh, look at that. Oh, oh and there's USB underneath. Very nice. And then open up that storage above you. Right here. Yep. Here. Very nice. You don't need to open that. Okay. One. Yeah. Very nice storage right there. And then that storage next to you. Oh, okay. Right here. Yep. And then uh, grab me right here. Okay. And then, just laying down for the rest of the review. Yeah. <laughs> Storage right there. Nice drawers and everything. Uh, a door right here. Hang on a second. Yeah, do the peephole test. Uh, can you see down? Yeah, I mean, I can see down. But All still, right. but still. You know. Yeah. And <laughs> why do you need a peephole when there's a window right, right. there? <laughs> that is funny. Okay, and then come on through, Will. Okay. Or I'll come on through and uh, open this up. Oh, under the bed? Yeah. yeah. Oh, oh hang on. No, no, no. Oh. It's not. Lift up the mattress first. Yeah, no, it's not supposed to come oh, up. Oh, it is screwed in. Dang, man, but Will, you're going to tear weird. up. You're going to tear up the whole travel All right. I'm like, man, this is heavy. <laughs> yeah, it's heavy. No <laughs> wonder. You're lifting up the whole unit. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Twilight. Do you see why I liked it so much yeah, in my last it's one? it's pretty nice. And as nice as it is, Will, and as great as it is, you know the rules. It's now time to give everybody three things we love about this Twilight and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Well, I want to do dislikes first, okay. but we do that so much. Well, no, we're doing it's it again. Okay. We're all doing right, it again. Because right. here's why. I don't have too many dislikes. Right, I only have one. Okay, uh, let me go first. Okay. My first dislike is these back cushions. Okay. I do not like these back cushions. Oh, oh. yeah, because they're separate? Yeah. It's, well, oh, yeah. The, the, but here's Just what like, I mean. what does that bring? Right. Well, not only that, there's like spaces, there's like gaps or whatever. Yeah. I don't like that. I like to fill it all in and then it when it drops down to make a bed, it makes a nice bed. Right. That's number one. Okay. Mine's outside. What is it? All right. We'll go take a look. Well, let's go take a look. Tell me number two. Okay. All right. At this price point and everything, um, I really feel like a lot of this water stuff yeah should have been enclosed in like a little box or that whatever. that was one of my dislikes as well oh, was it yep yep stole it from you. yep it is it is um yeah so that's number two i got number three okay i'm going out on a stretch okay try full sofa when you do have guests it is gonna block the way it is yeah it's what it is it is what it does 
Well, um, and here's what I'll say sucks about that. Like, if your guest is still sleeping, and you want, and you just want your co- your morning coffee, yep. or you know, yep, cook breakfast for them or whatever. But they are your guest, and so that means it's your house, right? And so that means when you wake up, it's time to wake up. That's right. Tell them to get up. Time to get up, boy. Grass ain't gonna cut itself. <laughs> Great, so that's three things we don't like about it. Okay. Now it's time for three things we love about this travel trailer. Oh, Will, do you want to go first? Sure. I'm going to go right here. Yes. Especially with this pantry. This kitchen overall is, is actually really good for the size trailer. Yep. But this pantry just seals the deal. Exactly. Like, you never see a pantry that big in a trailer this small. I love it. That's number one. Number okay. two, Will, I'm going to say one... I love the whole arrangement. I love yes. how the sofa is directly across from the TV, TV on the elevator. Right. I did want to mention that, but more importantly, I love how there's no heat ducts in the floor. Oh, right. I didn't even notice. I did. I did. Mm-hmm. And I like this flooring. And I must say, I'm going, I'm going to do a triple combo. Okay. Ceiling height. Very nice it's ceiling a radius, height. It's a radial ceiling. Yep. So that's number two. And then, well, what's number three? Um, definitely this back bedroom here. Yeah, we could have almost said, I almost want to say the shower as well, but no, we are going to say right. this bedroom. The king bed. In fact, they still got a small wardrobe in here and that extra door. I love it. Well, no, you didn't say it right. You called what? it a king bed. That's not a king bed. That's a king bed. That's right. In a travel trailer right. like this, it's amazing. It's nice and it's a Serta. I love it. It's great. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. That's the Twilight 2400. Big shout out again to RV1 of Charlotte. Yes, um, huge thanks. Their phone number is 919-934-4710. I actually believe they sell this at all the RV1 locations. Oh, really? So, in, oh, I said Charlotte. That was the phone number to Raleigh. We're yeah, in Raleigh. Sorry, guys. But they have this in Charlotte. They have it in Tampa. They have it in... So, we have a link to RV1's website down below if you're interested in this unit. Make sure you give them a call any of their stores and make sure you tell them that you saw it on matt's rv reviews and yes. they're going to take amazing care of you of course will is there anything you want to say yeah all right guys thanks so much for watching i'm so glad i got to see this trailer it's so nice um i really like the finishes make sure to leave down in the comments below let us know three things you like three things you dislike make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and will we'll see you next time